Hi everyone, today I wanna to share my best minimalist accessory tips because I think accessories can be a great way of making the most of a minimized wardrobe. It can really enhance a simplified outfit that otherwise might feel like it is a little monotone or needs a little bit more texture or sparkle or energy. I think as I've pared down my wardrobe and been trying to live a more minimalist lifestyle, it's easy to start to feel like we might get tired of our wardrobe. And so I think accessories can be a fun way to spice up our outfits. I think in my early 20s, I didn't really realize the power of a good accessory. I focused on not overly repeating outfits and finding the best tops and bottoms and dresses and that sort of thing. But I kind of forgot about the fact that I think what really makes an outfit pop is actually the accessories and sort of the texture that you add to the outfit through these smaller but eye-catching items. I truly believe that accessories are a great way to feel more satisfied with our curated or smaller wardrobe. Simply put, it's an easy way to make an outfit more interesting. But I also think the key with accessories is not to have as many as possible. I think it's important to curate a minimized set of accessories that that truly are consistent with your personal style and that are useful or realistic for you to actually wear. Sometimes we can see accessories that might look great on somebody else, but realistically, are we gonna wear them? I think when we're searching for those accessories, really asking ourselves the question, is this consistent with my personal style? Is this something I'd actually wear? Is it useful to me in some way? I think can really allow us to pare down those accessories as well and only wear the ones that really make our outfits pop. So let's jump into this conversation about minimalist accessories and how to make the most of them. Hi, I'm Aylin, if we haven't met before, and this is my channel, Slice of Light. If you wanna see more videos on simple living, minimalism, living more intentionally, and building an empowering mindset, then hit the subscribe button below. And also, if you're willing, please hit the thumbs up button if you end up liking this video. I also wanna mention that for today's video, I'm excited to be partnering with Nordgreen, a Danish watch company that designs beautiful minimalist watches, but that also has really great priorities as a company that focus on caring about people and the planet. So I will be talking more about them later. And I wanna acknowledge that, you know, occasionally I'm starting to do some partnerships on this channel, but it's really in the spirit of still staying values consistent. I only want to be partnering with companies that have really beautiful design where I like the product and or that they're really focused on the environment and caring about people. And I think Nordgreen really successfully does both those things. So I'm really excited to partner with them today. On a personal note, I studied abroad in Denmark way back in the day. And so I'm always excited to connect with people there and in this case, a company there. So the first category of accessories I want to discuss today is jewelry and specifically earrings and necklaces. I think earrings and necklaces are a very simple, straightforward way of adding a little bit of sparkle and texture to your outfit. And they can also bring visual attention to the face since they're surrounding the face, it just brings more energy and sparkle and shine to your face area. I'm gonna mention some of my favorite approaches with my personal style, but of course, you need to translate anything I'm talking about to your own personal style and preferences. So in the case of earrings and necklaces, I really am leaning toward the gold look lately. I think for my complexion and my own look, the warmth of the gold really makes my face come more alive. I personally love to layer necklaces and to have a lot of different chains that just add a little bit of glitz. And if I'm wearing a chain necklace or a set of a couple of chains, I'm more likely to wear a statement earring that is a little bit larger. I always wanna make sure if I go big on the necklace, I go light on the earrings. And if I go light on the necklace, I go big on the earrings. I don't wanna overpower my face. Like even today, I'm wearing a couple of chains here. One is sort of a herringbone chain and the other is a more minimal chain. But then I'm wearing, in my mind, what are slightly larger hoops to make more of a statement, but they kind of complement each other. They're both gold, although I'm all for occasionally mixing metals and they just give a little bit more shine to the area around my face. I also am all for layering. A great thing about layering necklaces is that you can recycle or reuse necklaces over and over again, but just use them in slightly different combinations that make them look like an entirely different piece. 
It's an easy way to minimize your jewelry, but still feel like you have different looks on different days with different textures. I think before I realized this, I just wasn't taking advantage of the reality that your accessories really tell the story for the outfit. And so take advantage of that. I could wear the same outfit for five days in a row, accessorize it differently, and it would feel different in the overall look that I'm going for. The second category I want to discuss are watches. And I truly believe that watches are one of the best ways to accessorize an outfit because not only can they be beautiful and really create a look, but they also serve an actual purpose. First of all, they obviously tell the time, you can check what time it is, but it also helps me look at my phone less by having a watch on because instead of checking my time on my phone. I have it accessible nice and easily on my wrist and all I have to do is take a quick glance. I also think one nice thing about watches is that you can wear a watch with a slightly more glamorous or glitzy or bulky design without feeling like it's distracting because it really just blends into the outfit because it's an item that serves a real purpose and people know that. And then on a more personal note, I just like wearing a watch because for me, it serves as a reminder of time in a more metaphorical sense. I've talked on this channel before about how I believe time is the most precious commodity we have and that we need to make the most use of it. And so for me, wearing a watch just serves as that gentle reminder to be thoughtful about how I'm spending my time and who I'm spending it with. And so for me, it really serves as a symbol, but it also has a purpose and that it also adds texture and interest to my whole outfit. And I have to say, I absolutely love Nordgreen's watches. First of all, I just feel like the quality of their design, they just slip right into an otherwise pretty minimalist wardrobe, but they do add a bit of pow and statement and beauty. Like I mentioned before, Nordgreen is a brand that cares about people and the environment. They ensure that all steps from production to delivery are sustainable. They use packaging made of plastic bottles. They refurbish standard watches to reduce waste, and they're planting thousands of trees to offset the carbon emissions made by their office in Copenhagen. They also have this focus on caring for people, so they have this giving back program. In 2020, Nordgreen donated 33,000 months of education, 64,000 months of clean water, and they protected 900,000 square meters of rainforest. But also what's great about Nordgreen is that their style is so sleek and minimal. It feels so luxurious to wear their watches. And yet because of their minimal classic designs, I can wear the same watch over and over and over again. It really can be that statement piece in my wardrobe that I wear potentially every day and that people around me will come to love and recognize. I personally got the Unica watch with the gold face and gold mesh and I got the 32 millimeter size. I love its clean design. It has a classic look to it and yet it has a little bit of an edgy style with the face connecting in an unusual way to the band. I think it's just a very special design as is all of Nordgreen's and I think it really matches the motto my mom always tells me, which is that the elegance of simplicity needs no adornment. These watches are truly simple and beautiful. Every time I put on my Nordgreen watch, I really just feel like my whole look has elevated. Like I think there's a psychological effect that it almost gives me this sort of confidence boost just because I know I'm wearing this elegant piece that's also reminding me of a symbol that I care about, time. If you're interested in purchasing one of these Nordgreen watches, I have a link in the description box below, along with a discount code SOUL, so that you can get 15% off your purchase. The next category that I wanna discuss is belts. And I think belts are a great way to actually change the entire shape or silhouette of your outfit. It's a great piece for easy layering and adding more dimension and just a little bit of a different slant to an otherwise ordinary outfit. I personally like belts that have an interesting buckle of some kind or have a texture on the actual material that's a little bit different. Sometimes I like a suede belt or a leather belt. It's really nice that just getting an unusual looking belt can add a lot more dimension to your look 
in a very easy, simple way. Again, this is an accessory that's useful if your pants are a little loose or you want a dress just cinched a little tighter to you. It's actually serving a purpose beyond just looking good. And so I really love to use belts in a lot of different ways, in a lot of different contexts. It's such a great piece for layering, say putting it around a shirt and then still wearing a blazer over it or putting it around a dress that would otherwise not have much shape to it. What's also nice is I think even with belts that are a little bit more of a fashion statement or unusual, I actually think belts you can wear over and over and over again and people either don't really notice or if they do, at least it's an item that's kind of built to be worn over and over again. And so it's just one of those staple pieces that is so usable. The fourth category I want to discuss is shoes. And I believe that shoes are the foundation of the overall look of an outfit in that they really set the tone as far as how formal or informal the outfit looks. The exact same outfit can look very, very formal with a pair of heels of some kind, or it can look very, very casual with sneakers or some relaxed boots. Even just having a few shoe options can really change the entire look of an outfit in a really easy way. Sometimes I'll even bring a couple pairs of shoes with me if I know I'm gonna be out all day and doing different things in different contexts because I can just switch the shoes and make an outfit that in some cases might be really casual look really formal. I can also go for an in-between look, say with a pair of pointed mules. These look a little bit classier and a little bit more formal than simple tennies, but they're also comfortable and not so elegant as a pair of heels. So this was one that I really missed the boat on to a certain degree. If you're just really intentional with what shoes you wear, it can really transform your style and overall look. I think an overall message I wanna make with this video is just having a few accessories can actually exponentially increase the number of outfit combinations in your wardrobe by layering jewelry in different ways, by adding different jewelry with different shoes, a different belt, you can totally transform your look. And I haven't even gotten into hats and scarves, but there are truly infinite ways to change the look of the same outfit simply by switching the combination of accessories. And I think putting more emphasis and energy on your accessories can allow your overall wardrobe to be far more minimal. Also, because often accessories are items that take up less space as far as storage goes. And so it's a more minimal way of creating many more looks in your wardrobe. So hopefully this video just got you thinking a little bit more about how you can play around with your accessories and expand your wardrobe simply by being more intentional with what you wear as far as accessories goes. I'd love to hear any ideas you guys have about how you use your accessories in fun ways for your personal style. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye.